The Ill Omen One day, Emperor Akbar overslept. It was almost noon when he finally awoke and stumbled out of bed grumpily. The first person he saw was a sweeper cleaning the palace courtyard below. When the sweeper looked up and saw the emperor, he prostrated himself on the ground in respect. Akbar was most unhappy. Then several things happened in quick succession to make him unhappier still. First, he stumbled over a fold in the carpet as he walked across the room. Then, for the first time ever, the barber nicked Akbar's chin. This was followed by a ruby falling out of one of the emperor's rings. And if this was not enough, the melons served to him at lunch were tasteless. So much so that by the evening Akbar was in a really foul mood. When a messenger brought the news of the death of one of Akbar's distant cousins, it really was the last straw. Akbar could not control his temper any longer. Get out of my sight, he roared at the terrified messenger. Burball, where is Burball? Send Burball to me at once. Burball, Akbar shouted as soon as he saw his favorite minister. I have spent a miserable day. When I woke up this morning, the first face I saw was a sweeper's. Everything has gone wrong since. I want that sweeper put to death. Let his head be struck off at dawn tomorrow. As you wish, Alampana, said Burball quietly, and left the room. When the sweeper learned of the fate that awaited him, he fell at Burble's feet and begged him to save his life. Only you can help me, he wept. The emperor will surely listen to you. I have done no wrong. If I die, who will look after my wife and children? Dry your tears, said Burball, raising the sobbing man to his feet. I will try my best to save you. The emperor was up before dawn the next day. He said his prayers and felt relaxed and refreshed. There was a knock on the door. It was Burball. Akbar suddenly remembered the order he had given. Come in, Burball, he said. Has that sweeper been executed yet? He asked with a slight feeling of remorse. Everything is ready for the execution, Shah Lam, Burbal replied. But the sweeper keeps repeating one thing, and I do not know how to refute it. Jahan Panna, the first person you saw. Yesterday was the sweeper. You considered that an ill omen and you had a bad day. But the first person the sweeper saw yesterday was your majesty. The sweeper claims that the sight of your face has been more unlucky for him than the sight of his face was for you. He is going to lose his life because the first person he saw yesterday was you. Burbal paused and looked at Akbar. The emperor was silent. It is getting late. I shall tell the executioner to proceed, said Burbal. The emperor raised his hand. Wait, Burbal, he said. I have changed my mind. Let the sweeper go. He is right. His clever argument has saved his life. Or, was it your brainwave? Come, come, Burbal. Do not pretend to look so innocent. I am not displeased. Tell the sweeper that his emperor pardons him thanks to your intervention. Under 